Craig, Vanessa, the number of states now reporting these texts are growing by the hour, it seems. Nevada, New Jersey, New York, Maryland, South Carolina, and many more. Just imagine getting a text on your phone saying you are just days away from becoming a slave and that you could be killed for refusing. Black people and other people of color in several states say they are getting these messages, including university students and children in middle school. Here's a look at one text falsely claiming the recipient has been chosen to pick cotton and has a week to report. The text going on to tell the recipient to bring their belongings and that they will be searched and patted down. Then a chilling closing message saying anyone who runs away or doesn't show up will be killed. In Alabama, the Southern Poverty Law Center is investigating. It has frightened a lot of people in a way that should never happen. 150 years after slavery ended. It's the wrong kind of attitude. New York Attorney General Tish James announcing her office is also looking into similar incidents of racist texts, with some reportedly sent to middle and high school students. James releasing a statement reading in part, I unequivocally condemn any attempt to intimidate or threaten New Yorkers and their families. I encourage anyone in New York who has received an anonymous threatening text message to report it to my office. One investigation turning up a possible connection. Somebody went to the trouble to purchase cell phone information for some group of people. And we don't know who and how many yet, but that's, that's what's underlying it. And so the FBI and Justice Department are aware of these texts and are urging the public to report them to law enforcement. The NAACP president saying these texts harken back to an era before Jim Crow and that these texts are not normal and the NAACP refuses to let them be normalized. If you're wondering what happens when you call the numbers back, people say they get nothing. These texts, these numbers are all from anonymous senders. No way to track them just yet. Yeah, it might be a good idea not to call them back just in case mm -hmm. some of them are scams too. All right, Justin, thank you.